everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanna to show you guys how I clean my makeup brushes. I don't buy expensive makeup brushes. I have like three in my collection that I could be like, this is where I got it, this is how much it was. The rest of them are pretty expensive. I like to pick them up from the Dollar Tree, Walmart. I get a lot in my BoxyCharm boxes. If you don't know what that is, I will link it up here in the cards. And it's a really quick little DIY, and I hope you like it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is you need a glue gun. You guys, this glue gun has been with me through all my rough times in life. She has seen better days, but she's also seen all the things, so I can't get rid of her because she knows too much about me. Got my glue sticks, and then I have my dollar store plate. I try to get the sticker off, it's still got a little adhesive, but really this is a cleaning product. It doesn't matter. So I am going to just get started by making some dollops of glue what we're trying to do is create a texture to clean the brushes. We want something for the brushes to have to go across. I also think this would make like a good gift, right? Like you could totally make one of these and give it to one of your girlfriends, maybe a mom or a sister, somebody that needs a good brush cleaner and you'll see this works so good. Now we're, we're gonna get all the glue on here and then we've gotta let it sit for a couple hours for that glue to really harden. Honestly, overnight might be ideal but I really need to get my brushes clean today, so we'll probably just wait a few hours. I think the glass plate looks really nice, but you can use any inexpensive um, plastic plate, melamine, anything like that will work great. Okay. That's what the finished product looks like. You could obviously go around the whole play, do lots of different things. We're gonna stop for now, and we'll be back and show you how to clean the brushes. Okay, so I think my glue is nice and set, and we're gonna go ahead and just clean our brushes. I start with my smaller brushes and work my way up to the bigger brushes that are more full of foundation and powder. Smaller brushes clean a little faster. So I just put a little warm water on here. And I just like my Mrs. Myers because like I said, my brushes aren't expensive. If you've got nice, expensive, fancy brushes, you should probably be using some sort of brush cleaner, but mine are really cheap, and so I, it doesn't matter to me. So I'm just gonna get my brush in there, and then you just use this, use these little sections to clean your brush, and look at that. So when you're cleaning your brush, you don't want the you don't want to get this section up here real wet. So I'm just going to kind of wring that out. Can you believe the difference on that? Let's do another one here. Just going to get a little wet. I'm using this to... You guys, I'm kind of embarrassed at how dirty these are. They're kind of gross. And now that pulled up a little bit, so I'm not super stoked. So I really do like these, like the big globs, I guess. The bigger globs tend to work a little better where we would do the lines and stuff. And yeah, you can see the makeup coming right off of there. All right, we're gonna get these brushes cleaned. Um, this was not my idea. Uh, I took this from another a beauty influencer, actually. I saw um, cleaning her made this up. See, that came off, that's okay. We can fix that later, because this is working just fine. Um, so I will link her video below. I want to make sure I give credit where credit is due. She's a big beauty influencer and she posted this on her channel and this is where I got the idea from. I don't want to take credit for something that was not my idea. So we're going to get through these brushes 
and I'll show you the finished product. Hey, if you guys like this kind of video, these little how-tos, be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, and comment down below what you liked about it, and we'll see you soon. Okay, hopefully you stay till the end, because I want to show you something. This plate right here, I did about a year ago, and I did it on melamine, but it's not super cute, like it's green, but it's held up really nicely. You guys, it did not hold up on the glass. Don't do this on glass. Hopefully stay till the end. I just lay all my clean brushes out on a towel. I wrap it off of that towel, give them a real good squeeze, and then I unwrap it and lay them flat to dry. Hopefully stay till the end and got the, the glass. It did, really didn't stick, but it was gonna be so much prettier. That's not as cute. This is really cute, but it didn't hold, so it wasn't worth it. Thanks so much for watching.